Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Pharma Simulator 2022. I'm not sure if these trees are getting any bigger. Uh, I think they're as tall as they're going to get. We may look at cutting some of them down here in the future uh, just to see if what type of money them give. But let's get it kick a tire. Let's get started. Want to show you guys something here. So you guys know this is where I keep the stock. And right now we're out of fertilizer and we're out of seed big time. Uh, we really need to get some restock. Excuse my hiccups. So what we're going to be doing is up at the farm place or at the shop. I have brought this guy up here. Now we didn't bring up the other forklift because we bought this new one, uh, I think about an episode or two ago, and we're gonna be using this today. Um, so we're gonna give this a try out. Also, again, no luck whatsoever in here with a harvester. I feel like we are not ever gonna get the harvester that we need. Um, and also, too, if we look here, as it saves, obviously, this is going to be a super busy month for us because we have the three new fields that need to get planted this month. As you see, this is the last month for sugar beets. And also, we need to get sorghum in them fields as well for the chickens. So, as we mentioned, the chickens... We have to go down here and we gotta see, look at this, right here, they're really low. Uh, so I believe the pen holds 9,000 each, if I remember correctly. So we need 7,000 here and it pr probably another six here. And I think the wheat bags, now I think we are gonna buy these wheat bags and the reason we are, oh gosh, they are quite, pricey 13 of them Ooh. and the reason I think we're gonna do this is so that we can see how much we need once they're fully stocked so oh that's gonna be pricey and you know what let's Ooh, that's pricey okay so also, we need a lot of seeds. Let's see if we can fit this all on the trailer. I think we're good besides that for here. Um, oh, shoot. Let's even see if we can... I don't know if this guy is weaker than the other forklift, so we also are going to have to get some other stuff here in a second, but we may have to do one load of these bags actually um oop let's see if we can get in there good i want to see if this fork lift was worth buying let's widen that out a little bit i feel like oop <laughs> i feel like it's not as good as our other forklift guys <laughs> Can we lift two with it, though? Okay, we can lift two. Oh, let's keep that low for right now. Let's see if we can actually get... Can we even get them up on... Nope, we gotta drive up on the trailer just like we did before. So, with the other guy. So, it's still gonna be really handy to have this, tra this uh, forklift. Now, granted, it's not as good as our other one, but honestly, that's okay. We The other one's super good, and we use it like crazy, so let's put it down. Can we push these things up against the front of the trailer to get them even down again? Okay, so we're going to have to know um, that's what we need to do. While we're here, let's buy the... Two, let's get two pallets of herbicide or not herbicide liquid fertilizer for our sprayer 
I think we could probably put these on the front. Now, I'm really hoping this forklift can lift this. Okay, it can. I wonder if a week could go on the back of this. Um, in our garage. Uh, let's look at... Wait, do we have forklifts in there? Yeah, there should be. Why am I not seeing it? There we go. Can we actually put a weight on that? I don't think we can. Hmm. It's okay, though. We Like I said, we. this is going to be a good forklift for just pallets. Obviously, we know now that this is definitely a little bit weaker than the other one. I love the fact that the other one can hold four bags at a time without tipping over. This one is, however, quicker. Um, as you can see, it does have a top speed, nine backing up, but 15 miles an hour forward, and our other one is only 11. All right, let's put... Oh, shoot, we're going to have to put that down right here. And we're going to have to... Come on, baby, get out of there. You can do her. You can do her. All right, we're going to have to push that on a little bit here. Let's get these tightened up. I wonder, too, if we can get... Let's get them widened out. This thing is super loud, by the way. I hope it's not showing up loud in the video for you guys. Um, let me get to zoom in. It's going to be loud here for a second, I'm afraid. Oh, let's go over to the ones we're taking from. And we have to get this equipment back to the house, too. Back to the farm. Let's go ahead and grab these. Oh, grab them. Now what I want to do with them is pull them up. There we go. That way we're even. Let's get them up there quick and see if they get leveled out. And I'm going to see... I don't know how much I can actually get on this trailer. I've never had this many. And I know we just spent a lot of money in wheat. But... Uh, I feel like we learned from our mistake this season. Go like that. Boy, they kind of get a little bit messy, don't they? We have to do our best to get them on their straight. Alright, so I'm going to fill this up. And then bring you back when we're done. Yeah, that's right. Backwards victory wheelie. Oh, okay. It can actually do four seed bags, though. It's uh, not really thrilled about it, but it does do four seed bags. That's good to know. Well, kind of does four seed bags. As you guys know, we never did max out Clifford uh, and his horsepower, and he did not want nothing to do. Oh, look at that self-unloading trail. Uh, self-unloading uh, forklift. Um, he did not like pulling that load. I mean, granted, it wasn't tiny, but it he didn't like it. Let's try to... There we go. Get this back up. This is probably going to be a pain in the butt to take down, so let's go ahead. Um, let's move this guy it's crazy, you would think. Oh, that guy is a little bigger, ain't he? Okay. This guy looked bigger. It's some wheels. Let's leave him there for right now. Still a good buy, I think. But our primary guy here really has not a lot of issues. Oop, back doing this. So let's grab... What are we going to need to grab here? Oh, the seed has to go up front. So, let me go ahead and do that, guys. You're probably thinking, why did you get eight bags of seed? And that's because this guy can really hold quite a bit of seed in here. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, we got to get him closer. Um, oh, that's... I, I'm going to say that's pretty close. As you can see, uh, this is four bags, and it's going to take all four bags just to get it close by, I think. Um, I think that's probably good on that, and I'll put the other seeds kind of where they normally go. Alright, so, little red machine here can definitely, little yellow machine can definitely do four at a time of these bags. Let's see if they all start pouring out. They seem to be. I wish I could get a better angle. Alright, there we go. I guess that's what we're going to do. We'll see where that puts us. Oh, it's saving again on this one. So that's our first one. It looks like it's at 7,000. Uh, let's go up here and grab two more. Alright, so I'm assuming this one's going to take easily these four and maybe a few more. Alright, are you... No, you're not all dumping out. Please all dump out. Thank you. It's kind of an interesting hitbox. <laughs> No, I know we spent a lot of money on this. 40 grand, but I definitely think our return is going to be over 100,000 on the eggs that we're going to get back from this. And honestly, um, I really think it's worth it. And we need to see where we're sitting on the fields. We need to have them guys completely full. Oh, this, this one's going to be tricky, I see. Alright, so let's get it back here, and let's get them down. Perfect. Now, we have a couple tricky bags here. Oop. Oh, that seemed to actually help us. I notice it's, this forklift is definitely much quieter. Much quieter. There's one. Oh, well, there's two, but I don't feel good about that second one. Let's realign on there. Yeah. Alright, that's not bad. Alright, let's go ahead. See if we can't get that thing to... Ooh, it's not doing well, is it? Maybe it'll slide back here. Eh, no. No. All right, let's hopefully this bag gets emptied out here. All right, there seems to be quite a bit. Now, I think we're going to get our chickens finally back up and going, so it's full there. You know, it's interesting. When I have the wheat bags on, it does not tell me how much are on my fork, so I have no idea what we have left. And, of course, we lose that one. Please take all the bags. It did. Let's see if we can grab this other bag here and see if it'll take that one as well. Alright. Can we stab it on the run? Uh, no. Also, that wasn't much of a run either. Really? You're just going to sit like that? Alright, so it almost used uh, 12 bags. Oh, actually, almost used 13 bags. It did use 12. We're going to leave these last four. Um, we're going to put each one of them right above the thing. So at the beginning of each month, we're going to go ahead and be able to uh, just come over and top them off. Now, they're not going to be perfectly full for harvest because we didn't have a kajillion dollars, but <laughs> honestly, they're going to be pretty close. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put this fertilizer in its right spot over there real quick. I have it all sorted out. These ones in the middle are lime. I've emptied this out because I think this year 
we're going to try to use the solid fertilizer and see how well it actually comes out of the back of this thing. Because if this guy does fertilizer really well and spreads it really far like that little fertilizer spreader, uh, then we have something here. Because then we could keep this guy on solid fertilizer and keep that sprayer actually on the sprayer. You're probably thinking, why do you have the bucket and the cedar on at the same time? Well, one weight, but also, uh, as you can see here, we're not going to put fertilizer in it because you can see the 47 right here. This is what we're going to be planting in. Actually already is fertilized, so we're not going to put fertilizer in this. But as you notice, it only can hold 200 a uh, seed and we got to do sugar beets we're gonna get our first crop of sugar beets going but with it only holding 200 liters it makes me think um that very possibly uh we aren't gonna have enough and i don't know that i want to drag a bunch of seed up there right so i wonder i wonder if our bucket can hold some um oh look at that oh uh, would you look at that i actually didn't know that could be a thing so it holds all 1000 all right we need to see if we just saved ourselves a lot of spare time um and I want to make sure it does have all 1,000 in the bucket right now. So let's just park this guy right here. And look at that. It does. It says 1,200, which is 200 in there, 100 in the bucket. And you can't argue with the weight we have. So this planter that we're going to be using, this is the first time I believe we're using it. And we're going to be using it for sugar beets because we have that sugar beet harvester right, yep, yeah, right there. So we want to get into that sugar beet harvester. So uh, this guy is a hundred horse. So even our little, um, our even cool blue can work this with no problem. This isn't even going to work him. Let's turn this on. Oh, is it even planting? Oh man, I can't even tell where it's planting. This is this is gonna be a problem here. We're gonna have to figure out a solution to this. You know what? I got an idea. Why don't we roll it first? Yeah, why don't we roll it first and just we'll go from there. Cause I even if I have to roll it twice. It's going to be a lot better than this whole deal here. Also, if you look really hard, there's a tractor in this field. <laughs> okay, we rolled the field. Actually, I went crazy and rolled all three. I want to see if these need rolling again when we're done. Or if they have fixed that where once you roll, you're pretty much good. Um, but I can see much better now. Um, and we are going to do this field in sugar beets. This har this planter, I am not jealous of how long, uh, how narrow this planter is, for sure. I like our cedar much better. Um, and uh, not as big a fan of this guy right here. Oh, look at that. We're already missing stuff. Let's go back. Yeah, it's going to be really tough, but I'm going to do my best here. Um, but let's do a CD up bit.
I want to be very clear. That is the first and last time we are going to use the cedar. That was terrible. I would have rather seeded with the bucket. Um, and also, oh, did we get some in there that time? Um, oh, we might have actually. I couldn't refill it. As you guys saw, but I couldn't refill the big cedar. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Well, let's drop that there. Also, another frustrating thing. As you can see, it needs rolling again after uh, that. I was hoping that was fixed, but it is not. Um, that being said here, guys, I am going to call this episode right here, but I will... Uh, in between episodes, roll this and get it, uh, get the fertilizer or get the sprayer going on it as well. So when we come back the next episode, that will all be done, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you next time, folks. <laughs>